The Rock of Room 214, written by Julie Palatko, illustrated by Ruth Chan. This is a rock. He lives on the Nature Finds shelf in room 214, with an acorn, some moss, and a piece of bark. These are the students of room 214. They sing and jump, draw and read. Rick, the rock, doesn't do any of those things. He sits. He has been sitting on this shelf for as long as he can remember. One day, the teacher starts a new unit. A rock is a mix of mineral matter, says the teacher. Hey, I'm a rock, says Rick. Rocks are strong. They hold up the world, says the teacher. Wow, says Rick. Look at all those powerful rocks having adventures and confronting danger outside. When will I get to do that? You're not that kind of rock, says the moss. There's lots of excitement right here on the shelf, says the acorn. But when am I going to pose majestically on top of a mountain? When am I going to tumble off a jagged cliff? When will I fall from a great height into a river? We're all nature finds now, says the bark. Our job is to sit here on this shelf. Just sit, says Rick. Just sit, says the bark. I like sitting, says the acorn. But Rick, the rock, does not want to just sit. He has seen the photos of his outdoor cousins forming outcroppings, hanging off crags, jutting out of waterways. He is a rock, and a rock is made for adventure. I am made for adventure, he says. I am going outside. Outside, says the acorn. Nature finds don't go outside, says the moss. Outside is unpredictable, says the bark and dangerous. Exactly, says Rick. Here I go. It's not easy for a rock to get down from the Nature Finds shelf of room 214. And the students of room 214 don't make it any easier. One day, he sees his chance. He tumbles. He falls from a great height. He poses majestically. Wow, look at all those clouds, says Rick. And this sunshine. I'm ready for my life of adventure. A rock can really be a rock out here. Shh, whispers someone nearby. Rick looks around and sees that he is surrounded by rocks. Rugged rocks, real outdoorsy rocks, who live next to trees and grass and have never had glitter glue spilled on them. Hi, I'm Rick. Rocks don't have names. I'm one of you now. You are unusually talkative. When do we explode out of volcanoes? No one explodes here. We already exploded. Other times. We're done with that now. You did? What an adventure! How was it? Horribly dangerous. Some of us broke into bits, never to be seen again. And now we sit. Quietly. What have I done? thinks Rick. I never knew it could be so lonesome to be surrounded by rocks. Soon, 
rocky as a wet rock. With each raindrop, Rick nestles deeper into the dirt where he came from long ago. I am strong, thinks Rick. I hold up the world. But it's hard to feel strong in the mud alone. In the morning, Rick wakes up to the sun shining on the patch of him that's not covered in mud. There you are, Rick, says a girl. We missed you. Do you want to come back inside? Yes. She carries Rick back into the classroom and places him carefully on the nature finds shelf. Where did you go? asks the acorn. Everything was weird with you gone. You smell like dirt, says the moss. It's nice. Was it dangerous out there? asked the bark. I was in horrible danger. Of being lonely, says Rick. So I came back. This is a rock. He lives on the nature finds shelf of room 214 with his friends. He helps the students with math and snacks, songs and stories. Rick is a rock and he sits and every day is an adventure. The end. Hope you enjoyed this story read by me, Star. Until next time, keep reading.